In this illustration, we intend to simulate the steel column filled with concrete under the cyclic loading in the Abacus software. This model includes steel column, top concrete, diaphragm, bottom column, and rib. As you observe in this picture, the top concrete and the bottom concrete have become separated from each other using a diaphragm. In this picture, the results gained from the Abacus software have been compared with those obtained from experimental sample. As you observe, there is a good conformity between the results from the Abacus software with those obtained from experimental sample. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the results gained from the article. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Cyclic Tests of Concrete Filled Steel Box Columns and here you observe the geometric shape and specifications of the model. Here you can observe the cyclic loading applied to the model. And here the diagrams of the hysteresis having been drawn. Then on plasticity and plastic, the yield stress is equal to 308 megapascal. And ultimate stress is equal to 455 megapascal. We should subtract the ultimate strain from the yield strain in order to calculate the quantity of plastic strain. OK. In the next step, I'll click on Create Step. Here, select Dynamic Implicit and Continue. Here, I'll select Quasi-Static. Enter Time Period equal to 10 seconds. I'll increase the quantity of maximum number of increment. Enter Initial Increment Size equal to 0.1 seconds. The interaction between diaphragms and concrete and also between concrete and steel surfaces have been defined using the coefficient of friction, which can be clearly observed. In the next step, I'll enter load module. Click on create boundary condition, select displacement, rotation, and continue. Here I will select the bottom of the model. Done and close all boundary conditions of displacement for it, and OK. Here I will click on Animate. Here you observe the formation of the steel column.
Here you observe the formation of an experimental model. And as it can be observed, the results gained from the Abacus software are quite identical to experimental results. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the model. To do so, I'll click on Create XY Data. Then, here select ODB Field Output and continue. First, I will select U2 or the same displacement directed at Y. Then select this node. And click on Save. In the next step, I'll click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output, and continue. Here, I'll select Reaction Force directed at Y, then select these nodes. and click on Save. In the next step, I'll click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and continue. From here, I will select Combine Operator. First, I select U2, and then RF2, and click on Save in this manner. The hysteresis diagram is such as you can observe here. Here I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force the unit of which is Newton.
Here, the diagram having been drawn by red color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to experimental results. Here you can observe the hysteresis diagram obtained from experimental results and in this Excel file you can also compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those from experimental results.